my nani's uh, white Italian cookies. And I have her recipe that my sister gave me. That's actually, I don't know, I'll do it to this one here. That's Nani's handwriting there, isn't that cute? And uh, it's, you know, it's a really simple recipe when it comes right down to it, but my mother and my aunts and my cousins, we've all been making this. And I think I'm making these now just, you know, as uh, clickbait for them to all at least get four or five people to watch this video. But what you need to get this thing done, I got some stuff pulled off to the side here. Um, I got, you have to have uh, three cups of flour, three eggs, three teaspoons of baking powder, one stick of butter, and one stick of margarine, one half cup of sugar, and one half cup of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a pinch of salt to make the cookies. And to do the icing, it's just confectioner sugar and butter, a little bit of vanilla. Um, really super easy to make. And the first thing that you do is you gotta make the cookie dough and then you gotta let it sit for 30 minutes. So basically you just combine all those ingredients, I said, the the flour, the eggs, baking powder, etc. in here. I'm gonna do that now and um, we'll mix it up, cover it with a uh, cloth for about 30 minutes, come back, make the cookies. All right, here we go. Cooking's more like art and baking's more like science. So if I, hey, I'll fart around and put a little bit of extra vanilla in there, you're going to make cookies that taste like shit. So try to stick to the, uh, the directions as we blow through them real fast. Two egg. Three egg. And, you know, I don't care. Pretty well just melted away, so I'm just, especially the margarine. Again, try to get your measurements right or it will suck. That's just science. Uh, one tablespoon of, oh, one teaspoon. Okay, I ruined everyone's cookies. One teaspoon, not tablespoon, of vanilla. Ooh, you're so fancy. All right, when she says pinch of salt, you gotta remember, this is like a Great Depression pinch of salt. All right, so you do that. Rest over your shoulder for luck. And, uh, and for the ants. Uh, then we gotta mix this all together and let it sit for a half an hour before uh, making your cookies out of it. Now, one thing that's really super cool is if you look at the side of this mixer, I'll move this right here. Uh, Missy has one of those crickets and she's making letters and stencils and all this stuff. So I gotta get her friend DJ over here to make one of these videos where she shows you guys how to, if you got a Cricut, they're you know wizards at this stuff. They're making all sorts of fun stencils and things. And um, you know, again, it will give me something to do. Let's mix some shit. And we'll take that off. And basically, there's our cookies. We just cover them suckers up. I'm gonna get a spoon and push it all down towards the center, cover it up, and let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then I can come back and make some cookies. Hello. Okay, it is time to finish our cookies. Oh God, I can't hold them up. Oh God. <laughs> so it's been about 30 minutes, and You won't see much of a change in that um, batter at all. Looks pretty good. And what I did is I put some parchment paper down with a little bit of flour on it. And um, just in case these things get a little sticky to handle, let me get a See, because when my Nana used to make them, she would then handle these. She'd roll them and she'd fold them over and they'd look really cute. I've tried it a thousand times. Mine just look like tumors. So we're just gonna go with um, making little balls. And I got my, my cookie sheet here. You don't have to grease this pan if you have a good cookie sheet. And all you really need is a, a regular spoon, which I, of course, don't have. Kinda scoop up a dollop of this stuff, just like that. And you can see already how sticky this stuff is gonna be to work with. So again, I keep flour on my hand so it's easy to handle. Drop the sucker down. Just like that. And again, that's about the size you're looking for. If you make them too big, 
they, uh, they never cook right. You know, you'll have to brown them on the bottom to get them to be cooked in the middle, yada, 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 yada. But if you keep them right about here, so I'm gonna do three of these suckers a row, and this is gonna make for uh, fascinating television. So I don't know like if I should just do a fast motion thing through this or just ramble. My 16-year-old uh, son yesterday told me what a prison wallet was. You know what, now that I think about this, this is a horrible idea, I'm just gonna fast forward. We made an Easter cake. Missy and the kids made an Easter cake yesterday with Grace. And somehow they got, and then they dyed eggs. And if you can see, Otis has, uh, look at that. He's got some, some dye there on his forehead. That'll be there for a while. And I'll go wash my hands again. So like I said, I had the oven preheated 375. Cookies are ready to go. And we're gonna put these suckers in, let's see. Yeah, well, the old lady didn't tell me, so let's wing it. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep checking them because basically what you're gonna be looking for is for these suckers to get just a little brown on the bottom and, you know, hard on the top. We'll stick a toothpick in one and we'll check them out when they're ready. And you know, there's still a couple of minutes left to go on that oven, so I figured why not just knock the icing out. This is uh, basically all the icing instructions are for my nani, uh, melt butter for frosting. Add milk as you desire, sugar as you need, and a pinch of vanilla. M Millie Santoro, don't need no measuring cup. <laughs> just pour stuff in the way you like it. I melted a couple of sticks of butter. I'm just gonna dump in some of this. Dump in some of that. There's the butter. It does take a lot of the confectioner's sugar. So as your consistency of your icing, as it cools down, it'll harden, and then we'll just pour that on top of the cookies. All right, so now we're gonna look in on the cookies. And what you should start to see here is a little bit of browning under the bottom. They're not done. Again, the oven's 375. I'm gonna take a toothpick just to be safe and poke down the center here. Actually, they're pretty close to being done. We're gonna give them just a couple more minutes. I'm gonna open this up and we'll check them out again. Those suckers are good to go. I don't know if you can see that. Motherless. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna take these suckers out now. Take a look at these. If you look underneath, again, the ungreased pan, they pump right up. You get a little bit of browning around the, the bottom of them, just like that. You can see, beautiful cookie. You're gonna let them cool before you put the icing on it because it's just melted butter and confectioner sugar and some milk. Uh, a little bit of vanilla whipped together so it'll melt right off if they go on hot. When you have a lot of icing, you know, you can you can take the icing and you can drip it onto the cookie, but like I have such a big vat of icing here, I'm just gonna take the cookies, dunk them in, and you get a nice even coat. You know, shake off the excess, put it in the thing, they dry in a couple of minutes, and um, there you have it, man. The Italian white cookies, I love these cookies. This is my Nani's recipe. It's gonna be yours now too.